Good morning, everybody. How are you guys doing today? Welcome, welcome, welcome to Vanessa's Van Life Journey. I am Vanessa and I live in a van and her name is Treasure and I also have a travel trailer. So I'm living in my tiny home little travel trailer RV. I don't know what to call it, y'all. Is it an RV? What, what is it? Tell me in the comments bar below, girl, what is I'm doing? So anyway, y'all, I today is Saturday. I have a lot to do today. I need to food prep. I need to clean out my van. I need to take a bath. I need to do a trial haul. I got a lot of things I need to do. I need to go take down my gazebo. I need to get my air condition out the other building. Girl, I don't know what all I'm going to do today. But I got a lot that I need to do. And I feel like I want to go to the water and take a break. And take a, you know, because I say I'm going to go to the water once a week. Did I go this week already? I don't know, y'all. But I feel like I need to go to the water again. <laughs> so I think I might go to the water today, tomorrow, or next week sometime. Girl, I'm going to go to the water every week. I need to get me a calendar. I need to give me a calendar so, girl, I can mark on there when I'm going to the river. Down by the riverside. Down by the riverside. So, anyway, y'all, I'm about to get my day started. My girl, I don't care how much I clean. <laughs> Everything is always a hot mess, no matter how much I clean. Y'all, what is on. going on? What is it's going on. So, girl, get up. And y'all already know I am y'all cleaning, motivational content creator. I will help you get motivated to get up and clean up your house, clean up your life. Just clean your mind out. Girl, we doing cleaning. We all about the cleaning and getting rid of toxicity. And just, girl, we all about becoming a better woman and having everything around us clean. And, when, you know, when everything is just clean and you just stay busy, you feel better. You ain't got time, girl, to be mad. You ain't got time to be sad. You ain't got time to uh, be depressed. You need to get up and clean up, okay? <laughs> <laughs> if you get up and clean up your life, you will not be mad, you will not be sad, and you will not be depressed no more. Girl, I'm telling you, it work. You don't need no meds. You need to clean up. Get up and clean up. Okay. <laughs> By the way, I am not a doctor. I am not a physician. Uh, if you... If your doctor tell you you need meds and you think you need meds, girl, take your meds. Don't listen to me, but I don't believe in meds. Ain't nobody drugging me up and giving me no meds, girl. I'm just going to get up and clean up. That is my medicine of choice. <laughs> that is my medicine of choice, y'all. That is my drug of choice. That is my adrenaline rush of choice. It is called cleaning, purging. I'm addicted to staying active and, and finding something to do. So I'm about to get up and I'm about to fix this bed, put my pillows on here and try to make the place look a little cute. You know, uh, I have a housewarming party, you guys, on June. We got a two-part housewarming party. On June the 16th, we have a housewarming party. So if you guys want to shop my Amazon wish list and send me something, the link is in the description box below. Just look below the video and click more twice and you will see all my information. Girl, my cash app, my PayPal, my Amazon wish list, my mailing address and everything. So yeah, these curtains will be changed out soon because I had some curtains on my Amazon wish list people ordered the curtains for me so the curtains will be changed out soon other stuff will be added to the decor to make my life a little easier and so yeah we're gonna have some changes we're gonna have some diy projects coming girl because we got to get this place up to par we got to make it look how we want it to look because right now it's just brown and it, it ain't my cup of tea but you know anyway i still thank god for a roof over my head and i'm gonna show god what i could do with what he provided for me i'm gonna show him what i could do you know god get bless us with stuff and then we got to show him what we gonna do with what he bless us with because god gives the increase according to what you gonna do 
with what he give you. If you just sit on what he give you, he ain't gonna give you no more. Cause you ain't doing nothing with what he gave you already. Girl, get up. <laughs> I'm all up in y'all face, y'all. Girl, let me get up. I woke up hyped this morning, girl. I act like I am on something, girl. I don't know what I be on, but whatever I be taking, it be working, y'all. I'm gonna tell y'all, I be taking a dose of get up. A dose of change your life, Vanessa. A dose of be happy, Vanessa. A dose of don't let your haters. Don't let the hate from the haters make you hate yourself. Don't hate on your own life because other people hating on you. Girl, if you making the haters mad just by being great, girl, get up and make them matter. <laughs> Girl, let me get up because I want to make somebody matter today. <laughs> I'm going to make somebody matter today, y'all. I hope this video gets to 10,000 views. I hope this video gets to 20,000 views. Girl, watch my video so you can help me make my, my haters matter, girl, because they hate that I'm great <laughs> and I'm getting greater by the minute. They hate it, girl. So let me get up off my butt and make them haters mad. Okay, y'all, here we go. So yeah, I'm going to be food prepping today, but for breakfast, I'm just going to eat breakfast for lunch. I got this chicken that I had prepped, and I think it's a little frozen. <laughs> so we're going to put that on the stove and let it warm up. I don't know how long it's going to take. I might be too hungry to wait. But... We're going to put that on and I'm going to put it on low because I don't want it to burn. So yeah, I'm going to do that and I might put a little water in there. I think that'll melt, but I think I'm still going to put some more water in there. And I have some grapes over here and a few crackers left. So, I have already had rinsed these grapes off the other day. And I got a mango and I got a avocado. So, I think that's what I'm going to eat right now. A mango, an avocado, and some grapes. And I got some juice and I'm going to drink some water and I got some crackers. So for now, that's what I'm going to eat while I'm letting this warm up. And yeah. Today, you guys, I am going to be food prepping some ground beef and some ham hocks. So I'm going to go get my pressure cooker uh, that one of my subscribers gave me. Uh, so yeah, I could cook some ham hocks today in the pressure cooker for the first time, y'all. Usually when I cook my ham hocks, and my turkey legs, I usually let them boil for hours, like three, four hours. 
but we're going to see today what kind of experience we have with the pressure cooker. You guys, that is how my chicken looking. We got plenty of broth, you guys. And a lot of people want to know how I stay so slim and trim. It's because basically I eat the carnivore diet. You can eat as much as you want and stay healthy at the same time, you guys. And but I haven't been doing the carnivore diet properly, so I have gained a little weight that I'm looking forward to getting off of me. Uh, yeah. So you guys, I'm gonna wash my dishes. Before I get started, food prepping, because I need this pot right here. I need this pot, so I am going to wash my dishes first. Okay, you guys, I'm getting ready to food prep. I got all my meat on the cabinet and everything. Uh, so, yeah, that's what y'all gonna see me doing next. chopping my onion up and I'm now I'm about to put my onions on and let them marinate so I'm gonna put some bacon grease in here and then I'm gonna let my onions marinate and then I'll put my ground beef in there after the onions cook a little bit
I'm gonna cook some bell peppers, some sweet peppers and the onions, but I'm, I'm doing the onions first. finished cutting up my bell peppers and my onions and I'm sauteing them and now I'm gonna put some ground beef up in there and I'm going to season my ground beef from the pot while it's in the pot bell peppers and my onions in here I seasoned it I don't know if I put enough seasoning in here because I didn't taste it but close to the end after it's cooked a little bit well, I have a little light I can turn off yeah. the light over the stove really take my uh, cilantro and I put it up in here. So I'm going to take my cilantro a little bit. I stood it up and chopped. I forgot to show y'all that I cut up and chopped my cilantro. I like the taste of cilantro, you guys. Alongside parsley and onions and my red bell peppers, it is one of my favorite seasons or spices or herbs to cook with.
Okay, y'all. I am through cooking the ground beef. And I am going to turn it off. Put the lid back on it and turn it off. Dinner is served for a couple of days. of Irish Spring soap the other day. I want to proof my backyard. I didn't put any of this in the backyard. So when I come back here, I want to come back here and be bug free and snake free and rodent free or whatever kind of free I could be. I want to be that. So I am gonna use this whole box back here and have 12 pieces of soap because I want to be free. I want to be free, free, free. So I have to throw them separate because they fall in the same spot. So that's what I'm about to do. Okay, you guys, so I am through with the ground beef, so I'm just gonna separate it in different containers. It's been cooling off. I don't put them in the refrigerator or the freezer they cool completely off. So these are cooled off enough to go in the freezer. And I put a good amount up in there because usually this will be one meal for me. Like I'll just warm this up and eat it. So I usually Pot to boil me some water to take a bath. I don't know what I'm eating for dinner tonight. Probably this. And I don't eat anything else with it, you guys. I'm on a carnivore diet. If I did eat something else with it, I would eat bacon. But I'm laying off the bacon. For a while. Not that the bacon did anything to me or anything like that. I'm just choosing to lay off of it. So that pack of 10 pound pack of ground beef made four containers, but they're full. This is a lot of meat in here you can make like four or five up to eight tacos you're gonna make some tacos and then the same thing with the ham hocks and the turkey legs. I'm going to let those cool off more. I'm going to put two of these in the refrigerator on the inside and I'm going to take the other ones and put them on the outside in the freezer. And if I wanted to can this, I could can this as well. So, when I get ready to
it's locked. I don't want it to be locked. Why is it locked? It's still hot. So once this cools off more, I will put that in containers and I'll be back to let you guys see that. Okay, y'all, excuse my air conditioning. I just got out the bath tub. And I had washed this over here earlier. So I'm about to put my ham hops. I'm going to let y'all see, girl. These ham hops is falling off the bone. The ham hops done fail off the bone, girl. Look at that. I forgot how long I cooked this. I know it was an hour, maybe an hour and 30 minutes. I'm not sure. So I got ham pops and turkey legs up in here. I had two pop, two packs of ham pops. Which was four. I need to get a spoon so I can get that juice up out of there. And I think I'm going to need one more container and I need to go in the van and get the lids. To this. See them bones from the Taste that meat. Mm -hmm. It's still hot. So let me go in the van. And get my containers and one more container. Or I might not need one more container because I'm kind of going to eat the rest of this. But I need my lids. So I will be back. So I got my lid and I got me a spoon so I can put some juice up in here. We want some of that good old juice. And y'all, when I cook my turkey legs and my ham hock, I don't add anything else to it. I don't add salt, I don't add pepper, I don't add nothing to it. It's just, it comes out perfect to me. Sometimes I might eat it with some bacon or not.
gonna keep one of these in the refrigerator. Or I could keep two in the refrigerator and put one in the freezer, we'll see. Okay, you guys, that is it for me. I had a full day of cleaning. My life consists of cleaning, you guys. Uh, anything that you want in life is worth you spending the time uh, that's necessary to achieve it. I like uh, having a clean space. I like food prepping. I like having my meals ready. Uh, because I do stay so busy and I'm always doing things. Sometimes I get caught up and I'm not able and I don't stop to eat. But having my food prepped already makes it easier for me to stop and eat and just warm my food up. And having a variety of different meals already food prepped really is very helpful to me and it helps me uh, to take better care of myself. So I go the extra mile. I do what I have to do uh, to food prep and have food ready for me so I can take better care of myself and I can get all the work done that I wanna get done because I am a busybody and a workaholic. But at the same time, I could take time and make time to eat properly and take better care of myself. So I encourage you guys to look into food prepping, especially if you got some kids, girl, you need to start food prepping, at least food prep your meats. So that way, when you get ready to make them breakfast in the morning, all you got to do is fry an egg and uh, make some toast and warm up the bacon, warm up the breakfast sausage. Girl, it's already done in minutes. Like you could be having them kids fed in less than two minutes, fry egg and, and some toast. And so I love food prepping. Uh, I also love canning my own foods. I wish that I would have known about these things years ago, but it ain't never too late, y'all, to get with the program. And so when I food prep, I got to wash dishes, I got to clean up, but that also makes less dishes that you have to wash because once you food prep, you got those few dishes out the way and all throughout the week when you warm up food, the only thing you're doing is just warming up, washing out the pots that you warm the food up in, that's it. So uh, I food prepped, then I put more of the Irish, Irish spring soap in the backyard and um, I was live I chatted with the people on nomadic therapy they see everything behind the scenes so if you're not subscribed to nomadic therapy girl and you just want to chill with me all day long if you bored and you ain't got nothing to do if you need some cleaning motivation girl come over to nomadic therapy girl I will keep you company all day long while you wash them dishes you clean that house you fold them clothes you clean out that closet whatever you need to do girl I will be there for you so uh i did that and what else did i do yesterday i think that was it i think that was all that i did so uh that's it let me know how you enjoy these videos you guys let me know if it's encouraging and motivating let me know what you cleaning up with me let me know what i've inspired you to clean up to organize or to get straight in your life let me know if you are starting to food prep if you're gonna try it i am on a carnivore diet you guys uh which is consists of meat only but i do stray away from it every now and then but i'm trying to get right right back on track but you don't have to food prep uh you don't have to food prep just meat you can food prep all your meals and have them ready for you but if you just 
if you don't food prep nothing else and you food prep the meats and then you could just grab the rest of the stuff and cook it during the week that is going to save you a lot of time as well just food prepping the meat you guys so um I recommend you food prep something in some capacity, even if you're single, even if you're married, even if you have children, it would just make your life a whole lot easier and uh, even help you with your health. Because sometimes we eat stuff that we shouldn't be eating because we're hungry and because nothing is uh cooked already but when you have something food prep girl you ain't got that excuse no more and you could take better care of yourself your health is your wealth start investing your time and your energy into taking better care of yourself that's gonna be it for me you guys i hope you don't enjoy today's vlog again don't forget to like comment share and subscribe hit the notification bell to be notified each and every time i upload a new video subscribe to this channel if you haven't already you watch me every day girl why you ain't subscribed if that subscribe button is black or red you have not subscribed yet hit that button girl until it turn white or gray and i am having a housewarming party uh on june the 16th and june the 30th if you want to order something off my amazon wish list you can order it and it will get here if it gets here before the 16th, I'm going to unbox it on the 16th and I'm going to go live so everybody can see everything that I got. And also, I am going to do a uh, housewarming unboxing in my two-year anniversary of doing van life on June the 30th. All my information is in the description box below, my cash app, my PayPal, my Amazon wish list, and my mailing address. If you want to see all that information, just look underneath the video, click more or the arrow twice, and you will see all the information. So I'm gonna talk to you guys later. I appreciate and I love each and every one of you. Thank you for all the love and the support that I have been getting on each and every one of my videos. Thank you for all the comments. Just thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you for sharing my video out on all your social medias to your family members, your friends, and your coworkers. I appreciate you guys so much for that. You guys are making me great and I appreciate you for that. There is no we in me. It's not all me. Is we. Thank you, Nutty Buddy Nation. I will talk to you guys later. Bye now. Thanks for watching.